Welcome to the Prep Reporters. We're here today at North Lincoln High School. So joining us today is Coach Stillwell. How are you Great man? to have you back. Thank you. Uh, Coach, has been, a, I guess, an up and down season. I mean, two and seven record right now, but coming off a big win against Bedford City. Trail for most of the game, but the thing is, you was ahead when the clock went off. Yeah. That game, 39-38. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about that game and a little bit about your season so far. And What's been going on up okay. here at North Lincoln? Uh, well, it, it, like you said, it was an emotional game. Um, we went out and played it. We were battling back and forth. Our offensive score, their offensive score. Uh, we, there was a lot of turnovers. We had some and they had some. And we capitalized on some of their turnovers, got us back in the game. Um, drove down the last drive. We got the ball back uh, two minutes or something left to go in the game. And uh, got a good return back and moved it down the field. And uh, we threw a touchdown with two seconds left to go. And then uh, got a celebration penalty. <laughs> which made it happen to kick a 35-yard uh, extra point, but uh, we made it through and uh, we won the ball game. Uh, it was just a real, it was a, a win we needed to have. Uh, the kids played hard the entire time, and uh, it was just a great emotion. And as far as our season goes, we've had, we've been in those games all year. We were down the wire, and it seemed like something that happened against us. We, uh, I mean, West Lincoln beat us with 25 seconds in the game. Um, and it's just, so it was time for us to get a little you know, that good on our side. And that's what happened Friday night. Good to be on the uh, receiving end that time, or the, the giving end, I guess, mm -hmm. instead of receiving end of those last second, you know, losses and everything about West Lincoln. Uh, tell us a little bit about the rest of the season, you know, kind of coming into season and how you thoughts and what's been happening. Well, we got, uh, we got 17 seniors this year. Uh, we got a great, great group of senior uh, leadership. Um, our kids have been working hard since last year, uh, getting ready for this year for the season. We have had some tough breaks go against us. Uh, you know, just, sometimes it's just way to ball bounce. But our right. kids have fought in every game we've played in. Uh, they've done everything we've asked them to do. Our emotions have been high all year. Uh, coming out for a loss, we've come back up, go back to work. We know we've got a game that Friday night. And uh, they've done everything we've asked them to do. So it's, uh, it's a great group of guys to coach. It really is. I hear that. Uh, speaking of Friday night, you got the big one. Lincoln mm -hmm. is coming in right now. They're, I mean, they're on a roll. Uh, they are. I think they're undefeated right now, and you know, looking like a real state contender for you know state championship this year. Tell us a little bit about that game, and you know, what kind of plan? You know, and not so much the game plan. I don't, you don't want to give anything away, but you know, some stuff that you think might be able to work. You know, maybe pull off that big upset this year. Uh, well, they got a lot of speed. As everybody knows that, um, and uh, they're well coached. Coach Conch does a great job. He's a he's Great person off the field as well on the field. Um, but we have got to get, we got to go in with a game plan, but we're going to go out there and compete and uh, try to put them in some situations. Uh, we're going to do maybe get some turnovers early, maybe give us a short field, uh, trying to manage the clock a little bit. They'll do so fast, they will be on there, they can score quick and hit you hard, hit you fast. And uh, what our game plan is going to be. And, uh, you know, like we've said all year long, we don't care who we play on Friday night. Make a difference with them out with them play where we compete. Uh, and I know that they're very good, and they know they're very good. Um, so we'll just see what happens when uh, we kick off on Friday night. Yeah, well, good luck. Uh, I know you brought some guys with you, so uh, I want to bring those guys in. Come on in, guys. Okay. Uh, coach, introduce y'all. Uh, we'll start here. I got the this is a senior, Mason Pertle, uh, wide receiver, four defensive back, Mitchell Gates. Uh, running back and also uh, defensive end and also some outside linebacker. Dylan Tucker, uh, senior as well. Uh, he plays offensive and defensive line. Jared Arndt, again, senior, offensive and defensive line. Uh, Taylor Ramsey, uh, wide receiver and also defensive back. He's also a senior. And then our sophomore quarterback, Corey Blake, who's replacing Tyler Lawyer, Tyler Law and our senior who got hurt two weeks ago, Cherville. And he did a great job on Friday night as well. He threw the game uh, winning touchdown. Uh, the sophomore. Good job. These guys played that play very well Friday night and he went against Bessemer City. Um, three of my three captains are right here and Tyler would be, but he's a fourth now. He's my fourth captain. All right, guys. Cut up a bit last play last week, you know. Coach sends in the play. You get it. Tell us a little bit what you're going through. And also, you know, you, I mean, catching the pass, I mean, you had to be you know, a great pass, but I had have somebody to catch it off. Tell us a little bit about that last play. Oh, um, it was just... Go out there and do it. I mean, I wasn't really nervous. Just, how do you go out there next week? I pretty much said, uh, I was pretty much coming off the sideline telling them what I was looking at as their DBs and what I could get open on. And uh, we went out there and executed it perfectly. Good hands. And uh, talk a little bit about this year. You know, this season, I mean, like I said, I know it's getting a little rough, but 
you guys definitely got a good deal. And, I mean, Lincoln, watch out when you do it against Lincoln. Talk a little bit about that game. We just need to make sure everybody gets a call. Um, I just think that really, I think we can score on offense against them. I'm pretty sure we can move the ball on passing or running. I think the big thing is if we don't stop them on defense or we don't hold up that speed around the end, you know, if they get around in on us, they beat us with their speed. Close so, you know, down on them. We've gone against two other teams in this past two weeks with option teams. So we need to kind of, you know, crack down on that too because it gets charitable. They ran on us pretty good with their option and open up some other stuff. Right, uh, uh, Coach, we want to thank you for coming and having us up here. Okay. And guys, good luck to your weekend this week. Y'all go out and beat the Wolves, you never know. And uh, good luck for us. I know you got Peace Week in the last game of the year. And uh, good luck to the last two games. Never know what might happen. Come Friday night. Appreciate it, man. Thanks for coming out.